yes i am in a relationship with imagine seven people taking turns to like wake you up and you still bed wet in as much as i love setting boundaries and i believe that everything should have its limits there are some things i would like my youtube family to know i just feel like there are some things that will foster our relationship in a very peaceful way and you'd get to know a lot a lot about me so that you'll be able to defend me tomorrow um so that our relationship will not be so toxic and would move on smoothly so you guys i don't know i rarely moisturize my hair because i don't even know the products to use so if you're a hair person and you you know good products you could just give me like recommendations and i'll get them so before we so, get into the video the first thing i want you guys to know is that i suck at makeup so basically yeah people would think i have different personalities and i'm sure the people would have different um thoughts about me in different ways because they've met me at different times in my life i don't know if that makes sense to you but like it's fine it's totally fine so now i'm gonna start with my name so my name is emanuela isini one little yeah and if you are from nigeria and you've heard isini you would know that it is an Igbo name so that makes me from the eastern part of nigeria in most states to be precise so i am an Igbo girl my origin as much as i'd like to like travel to different parts of the world and experience different people's culture i am still a nigerian some of you would know me to be a very calm collected peace loving smart person or some of you also know me to be a very playful a no nonsense person personally i think growing up i used to be this very um calm i used to be this very calm girl that always have to like swallow anything that is being thrown at her because she couldn't speak up for herself she didn't know how to say no she didn't know how to say she dislikes this particular thing so that caused a lot a lot of things for her it made her have low self-esteem it's it kind of made her lose a lot like it made her it made her um to not know her value and it affected her so much while she was even grown up I don't know but i'll just try as much as i can to say things the way they are right so we get to know ourselves better okay so emanuela is in a one two is from emo states i get asked this particular question quite a number of times so i am from emo states which is in the eastern part of nigeria manana is in the wanito is a very peace loving person personally i know i am peace loving like i don't like where there is havoc i don't like where there is commotion i try to stay away from anything that is going to deprive me of my peace of mind because i don't people around me currently would even know like i don't like malice probably when i was small yeah not probably when i was little i was like the best malice keeper in my house i could keep malice and i would not eat i would reject food and i thank god i grew up in with a family of so many children and we expressed love my parents showed me like love all the love i could get they still show me love quite all right but i had one issue while growing up 
I used to bed wet. <laughs> You know, till I got admission into the university, I used to still wet wet and eat. I told you guys I had like esteem issues and that was like a major cause of my esteem is issues because I felt low, I felt small. It made me feel like I wasn't there, I wasn't supposed to stand with my mates. It was like a very big problem to me i had once made a video of my bedwetting issues so that if there are other people that have these issues too they would know how they could handle it so manuela is in a one who has fought all these battles and most times i really thank god for like bringing me out of it because it was a very very big prayer point some people are living their lives going through stuff and smiling on the internet but you do not know what they are going through at some point in my life i thought i would have to live with bedwetting forever and i'm just so happy my parents did not give up on me they were extra supportive they had used and devised different means to get rid of bedwetting and i don't blame them they had used beating they had used sending me to a wicked i don't want to use wicked the word wicked to a harsh auntie's house they had um t they had taken turns to wake me up at night we have five children plus my parents so that's why it's a family of seven and imagine seven people taking turns to like wake you up and you still bed wet you should know that that is a prayer point so at some point in my life i was like i even gave up on myself my mom used to check all these prayers online and check for people that had similar issues with me the main point of this video is to practically tell you guys that a lot of people are going through things and you wouldn't know because they are not so open about it so you have to always um, be your brother's keepers and i'm not saying you should always give reasons to people but you just have to understand that life throws different shades at people differently maybe the people that must have met me at that point in my life would think so different about me and probably would think i'm even a snob because i did not just used to think of anything else then than what um solution to my problems i used to like this was a very very big problem you guys this was a very 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 big problem like i was still bedwetting even until my university I remember I entered the university doing diploma and my roommates at that point used to think I like staying awake at night and they always tell me to wake them up but they did not know that I was just scared of bedwetting and having to disgrace myself so that was like a very very big problem imagine being sleep deprived because of that kind of issue in the university the little time that you have to sleep and rest your head you now stay awake because you're scared of bedwetting it kind of reduced when i left home when i was at home i could bedwet even at noon like not even could if i tried to sleep at noon i definitely would bedwet it had affected me like it still affects me till now because there are certain things i force myself to do now for example, I force myself to visit people now. I force myself to drink water now. Like I have to intentionally take water. I have to intentionally take water. Like I don't just randomly get thirsty because I've built or I've programmed my system not to take water, a lot of water. But I'm trying my best now. So moving forward, who is Emanuela? Manuela is somebody that will not stress. Hey, God of Nazareth, my parents know, my siblings know that I do not like stress. Nobody likes stress, but like some people can endure stress for like a long time. I can enjoy a whole lot of things, but you see stress? No, count me out. Hey, 
they would never send me on a very very outrageous job maybe people that knew me before probably in my 100 level 200 level would see me as a nerd and a very angry person because i did not used to talk to like people in the hostel from the hostel to class from class to the hostel that was how my life was but they did not know little did they know that i was going through a whole lot of things do you look for trouble no when trouble looks for you are you present i'm in my 20s please i am an adult i love staying inside i love my space Personally, I don't think clubbing is fun unless maybe I go with like a group of girls and no boy. I love my family so much. I barely have friends. I barely keep friends. Like a lot of friends, no. But then when I have friends, I see you as my sister, my brother. But then when you betray me, I run. Play a lot, like it is unbelievable, but like I play a lot. My future husband has to be a very serious person in this life, else, ha. I love making videos, but I like my videos to be really awesome. And with the way Nigeria is, there are some circumstances that just comes in the way between you and awesomeness. I used to be ashamed of my flat tummy. <laughs> I'm a very pretty girl. I used to think it was very weird having a slim body and a big butt. Thank God for social media. I've seen my type, so. My love role models are my parents. They have the best form of love. Anybody that has come across my parents can tell. They can always tell. They're like siblings, like they play a lot, they do everything together. <sighs> I'm just starting to love wigs. I used to really love braid in my hair, but like I'm liking wigs now. If you do one thing for me, I am going to think of a hundred things to do for you. <laughs> Featuring in best friends in the world kind of changed my perspective about friendship and it taught me how to fight for my friends literally and then I think I started being less scared of certain things yeah the best part of my body is my I love my skin I love my lips I love my eyes I love my brows I love my hair I don't know I just love everything Part of my body that I used to hate, um, that should be my my legs, right? Or my tummy, my tummy. I used to think I had a very, very flat tummy and then it was not normal. Because I used to see girls of my age saying, oh my god, I need to wear this clothes because it's going to show my tummy. I don't want to wear this clothes because it's not going to show my tummy. I used to tell myself, I want to experience having the tummy. But when I started seeing people go under the needle for this, I said, cut that crap, man. <laughs> I love surprises. Like, I love being surprised in a good way. <laughs> I love intentional people. Because personally, I know I am an intentional friend, lover, whatever. I love making meaningful friendships. I don't just pick friends anyhow. Like I said earlier on, I have very, very few friends. Very, 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 very few friends. If I've ever talked to you about anything, just know that I noticed a sense of maturity before I was able to speak up. Because I hardly speak up to people. Like I feel like people are not really problem solvers, but they're just problem listeners. Hopefully... If God gives us life, which we are expectant of, I see myself with my family having everything that I and my husband want to come to life. One thing that makes me happy, money. Credit alert makes me happy. Uh-uh. In fact, in fact, if you want to get my attention, just send me money. 
you might not know the power of money yes i am in a relationship with christ i am in a very good relationship with christ duh <laughs> um i'm currently a copper looking for a job so that makes me jobless one hard thing about creating content is you need a lot of finance you need investment you need to be ready to like invest in your craft and you need to be steady like to be you know steady besides being consistent i also think you need to like what you do yes so that even when you get tired you have like 100 reasons to continue favorite person in the world <laughs> hey. okay, so that would be family family comprises of different people right not just um blood related so family yeah family if there are any more things that you guys would like to know about me i am always willing and happy to share so kindly um leave a comment of your question or you can always send it to my instagram at ella182 and or my tiktok or twitter or whatever social media handle you can send it to but preferably you can drop it in the comment section here so i would see it like with ease and i want to wish you guys a happy new month and we made it to like the half of the year and i'm really grateful to god for keeping us alive this is um, an appreciation post to like everybody that has been here seeing my videos and believing in me it actually means a lot getting 100 views 10 views 20 views 120 views 150 views it is not easy like it's not easy for one person to consistently want like oh my god how is she doing what is she doing you feel me so like i feel really blessed with you guys that have been here for me definitely does mean a lot to me it definitely means a lot to me and please subscribe if you have not subscribed kindly like share comment and drop your questions if you want me to answer any question of any sort i'm going to answer them bit by bit bit by bit bit by bit thank you all for watching again have a very nice day bye